Do, 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 do. Hey there. Well, hello, howdy, and welcome to Railroads Online. Well, I am going to make a uh, midnight run here. Um, check out that new logo. That new logo. That one. That one right there. It was done by my sister. <laughs> Emily, Emily PK. Yeah, PK. PKR uh, did that graphic, and there's good old Pinky, uh, there's Snowball, our black cat, and there's me with hair, because that's how she remembers me, and my 100-year-old hat. Hey, where is my 100-year-old hat? There it is. There it is. There's my Brakeman hat. All right. That, that is a real Brakeman's hat from the Union Pacific Railroad from the 1920s, and... That was gifted to me, and so there's my 100-year-old hat that I wear for Railroads Online because that's what the guy inside the train wears, too. So anyway, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm going to make a uh, very hazardous run. I did some track modifications, and I'm going to take this long, long train, 21-plus cars. Uh, and, uh, I keep hearing those train... Uh, logs falling because they're cutting logs over here i have 14 preloaded trains and hey hi mary how you doing awesome hat thank you check out that new logo that that my sister that my sister did uh it's pretty trippy and let's and tim of course tim is here tim is always the one of the first ones to to come in make a comment so let me open up the boiler here. Let me change screens to full screen here so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna grab some wood, four blocks at a time, throw the wood in there. Not a fire lights up. Oh, excuse me. Huh. Try to get that cough off, off the mic. Okay, six, 60%, come on, I'll load up some more fuel. Throw that, throw that fuel in there. Hundred percent. Okay, we have a hundred percent. We are going to. Uh, that is the train. And like I said, we are going to go downhill. Love the logo, right? I know it's so cool. <laughs> so this is a really, really long train. Here, while we're waiting for the steam to come up, let's go take a walk and take a look at this train. All right, there we are. See, look, there's that hat. Well, that's similar. It's a little different. All right, uh, but let's check check this out. This is, oh my gosh, one, two, three. All right, I'm not going to walk the whole train. You get the idea. But see, look at that. Wow, yeah, 21 cars, flatbed, and iron. So I said I had 14 preloaded trains. It took me like a week or so to load everything. So I have all these trains are all preloaded. And this is the first one we're going to empty because we're going to need this iron down at the... Uh, at the. Did you connect the cars? Yes, I, I went through... And I reconnected all the cars and I saved the file again. And this one, I also made sure all the connections here, all those connections were 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 all set up before we before we start down down the hill. So what I haven't done is I haven't checked all the switches. I have another program that I usually use. Got to be in first person to get in the engine. There we are. I got another uh, program that I use. It's a third-party program that's used to check the switches. Well, why don't I fire it up? Oh, no. Let's see. Why not? Oh, let's do it. Let's fire it up. All right. So stand by. Well, this, this is called Railroads Online Extended. And if you're playing the game and... Uh, you haven't downloaded this it's it's really kind of easy you just attach it to your game and it attaches and then what that does is it gives you a map 
of your entire layout. So there's the Blue Lake area. And that's the whole map. And this is where we are right now. This is the iron train here. And so see, this allows me to come in and change switches ahead of me. So that's pretty cool because it's kind of like a dispatcher. I can come in here and change all the switches that I'm going to need to go on this really, really long route. See, this, this is the long, 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 long route. And when I get near my final destination, I'm going to click this one, this, this one, and this one. So that'll bring me in on this closer line through the yard. You know, we're going to pass a couple more trains. I don't have to worry about the uh, about these switches going against me. They automatically switch. And I'll switch this one to stay on the outside. And I'll stay, switch on this one. And there's, again, those two automatic ones. And then this is the smelter here where we will where we will drop off our loads. And then when we are done, we will back the train up, uh, back to that holding track. But you know what? That's the shorter holding track. Hmm. Good thing I looked at this first. Let's come in this on the second tr track. We'll come in I don't need the switches, but I will just so I can have a clear picture in my head. Okay, yeah, that's a better idea because that means... That means I can back up and store this train when I'm done with it. And that is one of the longest uh, storage trucks. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. I have a fisherman's hat for the Aegean Sea. Oh, that sounds cool. Where did you get that from? Uh, all right, so back to Railroads Online. Again, that's a third-party product. It's not made by the developers. The developers should take note of that because, man, it, it is really, really handy. Uh, when I say developers, this game is in pre-production. So it's an early release I have access to that, that I got off of Steam. Anybody can uh, get access to it now. So it's kind of a public beta test. And there's some things that are broken, as my last video has talked about. All right, that reverser forward. Release the brake. We're starting to roll because it's downhill. Two times for a whistle. Any hobos on the side of the rails? All aboard. And here we go. Oh. All right, here we go. Can you add or extend the tracks? Yes. So everything you see, everything I built. Uh, Railroads Online is a little different from other railroad games in that it allows you to build your own tracks. And so all the tracks and the buildings uh, and some of the industries, some of the industries are already pre-placed. Uh, so... But mo everything else you see in this entire layout is I put in myself. Now, I do kind of want to brag a little bit because uh, I've seen some of the other people, bec because it allows you to use bridges as if, because they're free right now, there's no cost building bridges. Uh, people are using railroads online like... Uh, Oh, what do I say? Like a kind of like a roller coaster simulator. <laughs> there's there's just these giant roller coasters where 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 people are just making huge giant tracks that are running all over the place using giant bridges, and it's uh it's it's really really crazy what what some of the people are doing. Okay, I am technically on a 1% downgrade right now, but I'm about to go on a 4%. So I have found that if I add 30% brake and full regulator, 
This will keep my speed at around 20 miles per hour. Which right now you can see I'm doing 15. Oh look, there's the there's the huge valley out there. Way out there is uh, Red Rock Mesa. There's Red Rock Mesa in the distance. All right, we are beginning the downgrade and we're gonna catch a glimpse of Blue Lake. There's Blue Lake down at the bottom of the hill here we're actually going to go right by that lake there's coyote point way off in the distance all right see my speed my speed is like 17 and so that's with the 31 percent brake and regulator on full so this is a good controllable speed for this really long train i'm glad i have a caboose because i can see where the train is that's a lot of iron. I just kept adding more cars and more cars. Kind of, kind of silly. Need more cars. <laughs> oh my God. Need more cowbell. All right. So like I said, recently I've done some uh, third party website uh, changes to layout. Now, what does that mean? That means I can upload my track plan and this third-party uh, provider will allow you to fix radius on your curves and move some things around. Now, the good thing is it makes your curves much smoother. So see this curve coming up? We're hitting at 17. We're not falling off the edge here because uh, it's well within the engine's capability and the cars. All right, we are coming up on the uh, on the iron, so I'm going to have to concentrate here, and I'll get back to the curves in a second here. So, because you're going to see, there's a sign here that says slow. So, taking the regulator down to 28 percent, increasing the brakes. There's the sign. My drone is going to hit it. You know, it's slow, slow. So this is a really steep curve here. And I'm hitting it at about 12, so that's kind of okay. Yeah, that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, wow, that's snaking down through there, that whole train. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, man. All right, so this is the iron, uh, the iron mine here. So this is where raw iron is loaded. And the raw iron is taken from here up to the smelter. And then I got to run back here. Now, how the industry is working in railroads online is they require lumber, which is lumber and beams of lumber because that's how they're building the mine. All right, so we're doing good, nice and slow through this yard area. Two whistle blasts. Okay, I'm going to go 25% brakes. Now, I got to be careful because the front of the train is clear of the curves, but the rear of the train isn't. And so if you hit the throttle too soon... You're not thinking about the rear of the train. It'll do a, a crack of the whip. And the caboose and the rear cars will go flying off the track. How do I know that? <laughs> well, because I've done it. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. This is your making. Yep. Is there a way to feed the water from your lake to the containers? Uh that holds the water not directly there there is a water capability in the water towers and so they they don't you know tell you where they're getting the water from like a well or something like that all right full speed ahead downhill i even reduced the brake but we're coming on an area so there's blue lake right there and we're coming on an area i call dead man's cliff because man one little mistake and Look at how far down that is. <laughs> this is a 2% grade, so we're, we're past the really steep part. But this is a really dangerous part here. If you fall off this, it's, 
You're a goner. There's Coyote Point in the distance there. And you see another track down there at the bottom by the lakeside. That is uh, the Bay Shore Tourist Railroad that goes a three mile track all the way around the, uh, around the lake, which is kind of cool. So yeah, there you go. There's, wow, what a sight. You know, it's really cool. You take a screenshot of this, turn it into black and white or sepia tone, and it looks like the real thing. It's really trippy. Yeah, so this is a cliffside railroad uh, here that we are making this uh, downgrade. And like I said, I don't, I don't like how some of the other YouTubers, they just make bridges and bridges and bridges. I try to keep it as close to the cliff as I can. Where occasionally I'll put a bridge if there's like a drainage. So if you see like a drain uh, area coming out, you know, where the water. Water is the number one enemy of, of a train track. And so you want to let that water go under and by it and not over it. All right, we are really, you know what, we're doing so good. I'm going to release the brakes and just let this, let this guy go. Because we are doing really good. Might be a mistake, but we got fuel. Now yeah, we're doing 17. All right, here come. We're going about. We're going to cross the second largest bridge. This is a really large bridge. Sometimes you can't avoid it. You have to use a big bridge. But like I said. Some guys lay off their 90% bridges. So in this case, I had to use a bridge to cross this chasm in order to make this turn. I can't really hug the cliff on that one to make the, the turn fast enough. So, And then I put a wooden trestle in on this one. We are trucking, trucking, trucking. 19. Just in case there's any uh, deer on the track, better give a whistle. Coming up on a forested area. This is doing really good. Yeah, where's that caboose? Is it still on the back? Come on, where's the caboose? Where's the caboose? Where's the caboose? Whew, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. I do have some red lights on the back of the caboose, which kind of help in vision. Oh, please. I hope there's no trees in the track. There's a new one growing right there. I'm going to have to cut that down. There's Coyote Point. I tried to build a fire lookout up there and I literally spent like 90 minutes trying to get the lookout to stay and you know, have a little observation platform up there, but did that work? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. So I had to tear it all down. All right, we are making this long run. This is, this is a really, really, really long run. And we're going to cross the Little River Bridge and we're going to get a glimpse of the Bayshore Bridge that goes to Blue Lake on, on the way down. Why did I put that marker there? I'll figure that one out later. All right, we are looking good. We got steam coming out the cab. All right, there it is. There's the Little River Bridge. Little River is just this river. It's more like an aqueduct. But there is the Little River Bridge. Ain't that cool? <laughs> yeah, I built that. <laughs> and then we're coming up on the uh, the larger span, the Blue Lake Bridge, Bayshore Bridge. It is that's the Bayshore Bridge right there. It used to be called the Bridge to Nowhere, but now it goes somewhere. 
That is the Bayshore Bridge. That goes to the Bayshore Tourist Area. All right, one final long trek, and then we start getting into the Rock Ridge area and the smelter. I remember you mentioning something in Town Hall's Water was Empire earlier. Uh, yes, yeah, so there... Check my speed here. No, I'm just still doing good. Hold on, let me check my train. See, see if my, that caboose is still back there on this little snake. Yep, there it is. Whew. All right. Uh, yeah, the 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 town has water tanks. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm coming up upon a couple uh, water tanks down here at Rock Ridge. So we should see should see those coming up real soon. And so this. We're going to take the divergent track to the left here. And that will take us down to the yards. See, this is a nice long one. I don't know how many miles it is. I really wish they had like odometers on it. <laughs> Which they never did on the real trains, but uh, of this, of the 1880s, but. All right, we are coming into the west or the eastern side of town here so i better start slowing down so i'm gonna reduce the regulator the chuffing stops i'm not gonna put the brakes on i think i'll go through the yard at speed here okay so we should be taking the oh man i thought it went down the wrong track we should yeah okay that switch yeah the track number track number three actually so that is track three. Yeah, see, that's the nice long track. Okay, we are coming in. It's looking pretty good. You know, I wonder if one of my car brakes are on. Chuff down through here. Okay, we are trucking along. the little whistle for the uh, station here okay off to the uh, that's the engine yard facility over there that's the main depot over on this side there's our Christmas train with the named cars if you are a fan and you watch quite regularly you might get a car named after you and of course, Tim deserves his, he was the first person to get a car. There's our cattle yard over there. We have uh, about 48 heads of cattle ready to go to market. <laughs> That'll be its own video when I take the cattle to market. Okay, we are coming in nice and slow. There is the other large steel pipe train. Okay, regulator off. Warning whistle. 37% brakes. Oh my god, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. We are. We're going to make it. Okay. Ooh, here we are. Stop, stop, stop the train. Stop your train. Okay. So now comes the really tricky part. Uh, this is the loading dock here. And at the loading dock, unloading dock, this is receiving. It has one out of a hundred iron pieces. So what I need to do is I need to unload all 21 of those cars. Now that means you would pull up the engine here and you can unload two cars at a time. Then pull it up two cars at a time. Well, game mechanics. 
allows you to move the train slowly and click there we go we're gonna move the train slowly like this with full brakes and the regulator on regulator on full 77% pressure, one mile an hour. So I'm going to get off the train here. And I'm going to let the engine move the load past at one to two miles an hour. And so when I see that arrow, it's going to unload out right on top of my head. But it's empty. And... We can see that we have now four iron. So let's do that again. This time I'm not gonna let it land on my head because that's a no-show violation. There we go. All right, this is gonna work. I hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> it kind of, it, it's kind of a pain that they have this uh, loading docks online. It's, they're, they're making it better before you used to have to individually load every iron beam. But they made it so now that uh, when you load one, it loads three at a time. But they haven't done that with all the cargoes. They need to do that with oil. They need to do it with grain. And need to do it with, especially with water. Oh my God, water is such a, such a pain. But this is working. We are, we are dropping our cargo. Now, you, if you notice, the cargo, it still looks like I have four. And that's because the factory is taking it in. They're sucking it in as we are delivering it to the factory. They're using coal and the lumber and the iron as we deliver it. Now, if I ran out of coal or lumber, then... Uh, then the iron will stack up. And that's actually a possibility. How much lumber we... Oh, we got plenty of lumber. But the lumber stacks are going down. Remember that was full when we when we first got here? But I, I think I have plenty of coal. Oh, oh, there you saw the... Oh, you didn't see it because I'm not in widescreen view. Let's go to widescreen. All right, this is widescreen view. Okay, so way over there, that's the... Uh, that is the stack, and the stack goes down as they suck it in. So we are making steel pipes now. And we are offloading. This This new offloading technique works really good. The train is running consistent speed. It's not speeding up. I keep getting hit in the head. Let's do it from this angle here. <laughs> There we go. Doink, doink, doink. All right, there we go. Probably even do it riding on the car. Can I? I think I could. I'm playing around. Almost, almost lost that load. All right, boink, boink. Oh, this is going really good. What do you think, Tim? Is this this high-value YouTube entertainment you signed up for? <laughs> yeah, when I first started gaming, I'm, a, I'm an older guy, so when I first started gaming, I was wondering, you know, what, why do people watch gamers? What? What's the point about watching gamers? Well, it's quite a, kind of interesting after a while. <laughs> uh, what I like is it allows me to compare how I play versus their play. In a game like Railroads Online, it's kind of uh, cool because I can see how they design their layouts. And hopefully they can see how they design mine. Look how far back the engine is. Oh my gosh, where, where is the caboose? Is the caboose almost here? Yes. Caboose is almost there. We are almost done, folks. Unloading. 
Then I got to back this empty train up so I'll have 13 loaded trains. This was a 100% success. I haven't lost any iron in this, in this. There we are. Look, we are in the caboose now. Yep, we are in the caboose. How about how about that folks? We are in the caboose. Riding in the caboose. And we can run down run down the train to jump in the engine. <laughs> it's faster to run on the train than the ground because I'm using, you know, Einstein's relativity. I'm moving faster to the ground, but I'm moving the same as the train. I get to run through the tender, watch this. Whee! And in I am. All right, we made it. That worked really well. 77% regulator and brake at 100%. So we are going to reverse this train. Three whistles to back up. We are totally empty. Look at that. Okay, one, once we are empty, we'll run over and take a look at the uh, steel pipe. Oh, I'm going way too fast backing up. I'm <laughs> going full speed backing up. <laughs> Everybody get out of the way. <laughs> there's no there's no whistle on the uh, on the caboose, unfortunately. In the 1880s, they didn't have radios, so they only had light signals. And if you're around the corner, well, too bad. <laughs> Whoa, we almost hit that other train. Oh, that is so close. Whoa, I didn't even know. Holy crap, that was close. The safety is like not job one here on the Highland Pacific. <laughs> All right, we are backing up into the storage track. A little warning shot there, let everyone know we're backing up. Could put on the bell too, but bell is kind of annoying. All right, we are almost clear of the switches. Yeah, that was a good move to put this on this track. The other track would have been too short, and I would have fouled. Actually, that's kind of one of the main lines. There's really only two storage tracks here. Uh, because there's the in, the in line and the out line. All right, we are coming to a stop. Full brakes and a whistle. Let everybody know. Long one single blast. Let everybody know the brakes is applied. Ladies and gentlemen and passengers and crew. We have made it. Uh, an empty train. Uh, we'll go over and take a look at the... Uh, at the uh, we'll go over and take a look at the uh, uh, smelt... At the ironworks factory. But uh, this is the first engine I used in uh, Railroads Online. It's now on permanent display here at Rock Ridge. Uh, so remember, it is called the like and subscribe because that's what I ask you to do. It's free and it's totally refundable. We can totally refund. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll run back. I got to move that train back too because it's not really that safe right now. But uh, yeah, I was able to get all the cows there are the cows. Say hi, Bessie. Oh, Bessie's there. <laughs> Cracks me up. And all the cows are loaded. It's really a kind of a pain because I gotta, I gotta feed them in the cars and clean up their mess in the cars while we're waiting for our dispatcher to, to give us clearance to take them to market. And I'm stuck in the cow bin. I don't. Uh, so yeah, there's, they're full. So there's a full load of cows there. All right, so let's get into this engine. And oh my God, let's pull it back because I think it's creeping out. Is it moving? 
It may be moving. All right, let's let's back it up some. No, oh, the brakes are on. Oh yeah, that is way, way, way too close to the main line there. All right, regulator and full brake, full brake, just in case. We'll just put full brake. All right, let's jump out, take a look at the. Let's take a look at the status. Wow, look at the lumber. The lumber was stacked high. It's gone now. Have 14 out of 50 left. I have 16. So I bet you that means I am out of... No, I still have coal. So that means they must be still manufacturing. All right, so why are you still moving? Oh, oh no, this is bad. See, that's that bug again. That's that bug. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you get some action here. Some action and adventure. We got to run on this car. Set the handbrake. Hit the brake, hit the brake, hit the brake. It came decoupled from... Oh, that one's decoupled too. Oh, no. Let's go to the last one here. Go to the caboose. Just run, 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 run. What the actual heck? All right, let's... There we go, there we go. Let's set the brake on this one. Oh my gosh. All right, did that stop it? Yes, that stopped this part of the train. I don't know how many sections are it's broken. That's one of the bugs of the game is that when you save a game, it uncouples your cars. And that makes it really dangerous because if they're on a grade, they can run away. Oh, this one too. This one too is uh, independent. All right, let's put the brakes on that one. Okay, so this is all together. And we move the engine far enough away. And yes, it's nice and clear of the main line now. Let's go back and take a look at our pipes. See how many pipes we have now. With all that raw iron we brought down off the mountain, look at that. We have tons of steel pipes, which will go to our oil industry. Look at that, 96 of 100. Oh, that's why we stopped using supplies, because the outputs are, are full. How many tools do we have? Tools, 96 of 100. Okay, so we, we are maxed out. And so we have to load up all these empty cars and these tools. But I will do that at another time. I won't make you suffer through loading dock online and recoupling online uh, on that. So, so you know, we'll, we'll put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And so we'll jump up to the, uh, to the fire lookout here on the hill. Oh, God, I get stuck inside these buildings sometimes. Why do they do that? All right, we jumped up to the fire lookout, the overlook, the wonderful land of the Highland Pacific Railroad, Blue Lake, Rockdale Junction, Town of Faco, Town of Bruno, Rock Ridge, Essex, Red Rock Mesa, and Bayshore. There it all is. Such a wonderful, wonderful view. There's your full screen view there. And without my picture, isn't that awesome? You just gotta, you gotta enjoy this Unreal Engine 5. I, I really am enjoying this game uh, for what it's doing. And I get to make my own railroad. <laughs> wow, that's, a, that's really cool. I get to make my own railroad here. So that's kind of neat. And uh, again, thanks again to to my sister for making such a cool uh, icon, shield, logo, whatever you want to call it. Probably should make some bumper stickers or some uh, coffee mugs with that on there because uh, it's got everything. It's got the cat. It's got Pinky. 2004, special date. I won't tell you what that's about. You know, we'll talk about it later. 
there's red rock mesa in the in the distance there all right that's it for this episode of <laughs> railroading with charlie uh and desert charlie videos so remember crew keep your hands clean so you can use those brake handles and safety third on the highland pacific and all aboard for fun and adventure i'll see you in the next live video probably coming up pretty soon i'm starting to figure out this out <laughs> all right take care folks bye